Hey everybody, it's Anthony here on Edge Power Tools, and I'm here today to start off a little series on screencasting for teachers. Screencasting is a way to um, kind of create videos that share what's happening on your computer screen, and usually what happens with this, and you have probably seen a, ton, a number of videos like this, is the person, like me, is videoing themselves and uh, what's happening on their screen to show off like a product or a process um, or an app of some kind um, for a variety of purposes. So for instance, this, what you're watching right now is a screencast. I'm explaining to you how you're going to use an app to create a screencast. So it's a screencast on a screencast. Um, and, uh, and it's very useful for teachers, especially in situations where schools might be closed for snow days, or you've got a student who's absent for a long period of time, or in this particular case, um, I'm, I'm making this video in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, where schools across Massachusetts are all closed and uh, not expected to open till at least the beginning of May. So, um, so doing a screencast is, is very easy, it's very straightforward, um, and especially using this particular app that I'm about to explain to you called Screencastify. Uh, there are a number of different tools out there. There's Screencast-O-Matic, there's Screencastify, there's Snagit, there's all sorts of different ones to use. On a Mac, you could use QuickTime to do it. Um, there's all sorts of different ways to do it. I like Screencastify because it's a Google Chrome extension and I use Chrome pretty much exclusively. Um, my district is a Google um, district and it, it works on a Chromebook, it works on a Mac, it works on a PC and it works the same way across all devices. So if you have to go between different devices, it's super easy to do. Um, so yeah, so teachers can use screencasts to um, kind of go over lessons, directions or expectations. Um, you can share a Google slide presentation with your students, kind of walk through the presentation as if you were presenting it to your class. Um, and the great thing about screencasts and Screencastify in particular is that you're able to share your screencasts very easily to Google Drive, to YouTube, um, to all sorts of different services, uh, YouTube probably being the, the most common one. And right within the Screencast platform, Screencastify platform, you've got the ability to edit your videos, um, add some effects, add in text and things like that to really make it your own and uh, give it a nice polished look. All right, so I'm going to walk you through the steps of setting up an account through Screencastify and getting the extension installed in your browser. So assuming that you have nothing installed and you haven't signed up for an account yet, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to Screencastify.com which you see I've, went, I've typed in the address over here already. And you see that they've got these nice big blue buttons here, add to Chrome. And then what that's gonna do is you're gonna click that and it's gonna bring you to the Google Chrome web store and it's gonna bring up the Screencastify app uh, where you're gonna, again, click the blue button here to add to Chrome. So you're gonna click the blue button. It's gonna ask you if it has permission to do these things, display notifications, communicate with websites, capture the content of your screen screen, yes, you want to do all those things. So you're going to hit add extension and it's going to install it in your browser. And when it's done installing, it's going to give you a little pop up here like this. So it says Screencastify has been added to Google Chrome, manage shortcuts, all good. All right, great. So we are there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the Screencastify extension icon and you're going to click on that. And it's going to ask you to sign in. It's going to load up another page. And first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign in with your Google account. So I'm going to sign in with my current Google account because I don't have an account with this particular one. And I'll show you the process of that. It's going to ask you to click, click it again. Go ahead and click it again. It's going to bring up the familiar Google sign on window here. I'm going to click on the account that I want to join with. It's going to ask me if it can view and manage my Google Drive folders and files. This is so that it can save the video projects to your Google Drive, which makes it even easier to share. So yes, you want to do that. We're going to click allow. And now we're going to set permissions for camera and microphone and drawing and annotation tools. I'm going to click allow. You get these little pop ups. Yes, we want it to do this. Allow again. Yes, we need it to use the, use the microphone and camera. So we're going to click allow there. And then it wants you to introduce yourself. So I'm an educator. I'm going to click that. I teach at the grade school level. 
And that's it. So now the Screencastify account has been created and it right off the bat gives you lots of help. Uh, so you can watch an overview video, walks you through the process of making your first recording. I will walk you through that process as well and go over the tools that are available. But if you are an eager beaver and you really want to get the most out of it, then go for it and go through all those help documents. And that's all you need to do right now to get your account set up. If you have any questions or need any help with getting your Screencastify account set up uh, or doing screencasting in general as a teacher, let me know. I'm happy to help at any time and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.